So what we've done is we, uh, it was only yesterday a message, wasn't it? It was like, right, so let, we'll do our normal one. So we got four cars, four yep. price brackets. Yep. Right? We've done under £20,000, under £50,000, under a hundred thousand pounds and then no limit. Yep. You, you, where's your laptop? I've got my laptop here, mate. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'm an old man. I can't. I, I need to put my glasses on. Well. Oh, my goodness. What? Shut up. I want you to start this one, though, because <laughs> again, off camera, we're both like, can't wait to tell you my sub 20 grand one. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm really intrigued to see what yours is. But I mean, before, uh, before we do go, I, I just want to say that firstly, um, as we all know, cars are expensive. Used cars. So this is new or used. And in fact, yeah. all of mine are lightly used. Yes, me too. Well, not lightly ones, a bit more. But um, but it's under 20 grand to find. I instantly thought, oh, I'm going to find something punchy. Like an X, an early 2019 X3 M40i. Yeah. No way. Like they're still over 30 grand. So it, it, there, there's a lot less than I thought sub 20. Um, and there's, a, there's so... This, as much as we love or hate them, there are so many great cars, which we'll talk about afterwards in case one of us have come up with one yeah. of those, that were like almost on my list. Yeah. But let's just, yeah. What, what do you come I up think, with? So, so the challenge is, I think they do dump a load of money, but then they hold their money once they get to a point. Yep. yep. And I think nowadays, actually, that this sub 20 grand category in the 4 by 4 market is a really interesting one for me because... Um, I know I know we often have a bit of a debate about electric cars and stuff and, and Joe's such a fan. Yep. Love but him. One of the big challenges for a certain category of motorists is that what the Hayabusa. Yeah. So there's there's a certain category of motorists called caravanists or caravanners. You're a the, bit of a caravanner. No, I've I've, I've seen done, a video on I it. I did a I did a video that's done really, really well towing. Makes a you a cap with an You are you're aside from top gear. You're probably the most famous caravanist. <laughs> but <laughs> in all seriousness... He's moving that on quickly. No, in all seriousness... So, but f one of the big challenges, is if, if you are going to tow a caravan, is what are you going to tow it with? And, and, you know, as we go down the world of electric, electric cars, generally, they're, they're, one, they're very expensive, but two, they're not, they're not the best at towing. Well, actually, an electric car for towing is perfect because of the way the torque comes in. But the problem is it affects range and all that kind of stuff. Yep. But I'm pretty sure that the, the kind of cars we're looking at, sub 20 grand, most of them are perfect towing cars for caravans. And I'm sure that might kind of keep the prices you know, help help keep the price okay. strong. Yeah, that's that's just a theory. I had with not absolutely no. As I'm not a caravanist like yourself, yeah. I hadn't thought about that aspect or that point of view. But okay, I, I, yeah, I, I can respect that. Okay, as an <laughs> expert caravanist. <laughs> right. So my first choice, sub twenty thousand quid. I've kind of it's give, a caravan. It's not a caravan. <laughs> it's. A, it, I, I've given you a bit of a hint because I've I've kind of had one of these before. Oh, okay. Uh, you kind of had. You've kind of had one. Of well, these I have before. had one of these before. Is it Range Rover's? No. Sport a sub, Land Rover sub, sub, for sub twenty grand. Uh, well, oh, oh, early you get, Range Rover Sports. Yeah. You get one, couldn't mm, you? Maybe. Uh, is it a, a, a def um, Discovery? No, no, no. no. A Shogun. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Mitsubishi Shogun. A short wheelbase. Okay. Right. This is So this is a top spec. So the Barbarian spec, which I think is one of the top, the top specs. Yeah. Short wheel. Always quite fancy the look of these. Uh, 42,000 miles. 2014 car. So 10 years old. Yep. 20 grand. Or five five quid short of 20 grand. That's, that's, that's a ped choice and a half. Um, it's not something... I had even thought about. That's why I chose it, you see. But I see this is okay. So this is where I'm going to get a little bit pedantic because you've said SUVs, right? No, a four by four SUV. Oh, I thought you said SUV. What's the difference? Well, four by four is a four by four. That's a four by four. An that's SUV a... is a sports utility vehicle. That's there's nothing sporty about that. No, that's the same thing in modern parlance. No, oh, I don't know. See, we kind of we've talked oh, about well, them now. We no, but no. I, listen, I hear me I'll out. Spell it out. A four by four is is something that's a four wheel a four wheel drive. It, it's yes, yeah, and and so you you could argue that my M3 Touring is a four by four, um, but I'm I'm not convinced that that is an SUV, but that is a four by four because there's nothing sporty. But it doesn't. So so I think I think I think the Americans have kind of bastardized four by four. 
Okay. Right, so we used to call them four by fours, and Land Rover had their 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 strap line was the best four by four by far. Right. Yes. Right. And and so and and that was that category of vehicle that would have been a four by four. And then SUV comes along from America, just a bit like, I don't know, Halloween and Black Friday, and suddenly everything's an SUV. And for yeah, me, but I think, I think, is, is I like think a, that's because we're calling, it's a bit like I call our Hoover at home a Hoover, but it's a Dyson or something similar. So it should be a vacuum. It should be a vacuum. Yeah. And I think that's, we, it's, it, we all use SUV as a terminology, but to me, that is not a sports utility vehicle. That is a four by four. Okay, what, what's a what's a Land Rover Defender then? A four by four. Oh, but, but no, it is a four by four. But I would call it an SUV. So you're hundred percent right. Then. Yeah, no, you're hundred percent right. Forget about what I said. Cool. Um, let us know in the and, comments. And anyway, so uh, how how much sense I've not made? <laughs> Double negatives. But anyway, uh, 40, 40, miles. It's okay. all right. It's got a tow bar on it. Look, it's if I want to go and buy another horse. Lovely. Mm. I couldn't think of anything worse, but it looks. <laughs> it's <laughs> twenty grand worth of. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. No, it's cool. What I did want, and yeah. I, I don't think uh, they're probably worth shed loads now, but the, yep. the previous gen Shogun, they did, I think it was a Myvec Evolution. They're, they're like, it was almost like a Dakar Mitsubishi Pajero. Oh, yes. This is obviously, I'm we call them Shoguns yep. everywhere else in the world. Yeah. Calls them a Pajero. And I really wanted one of them, but I couldn't find one for sale. Yes. So there you go. That's my choice. Okay. What's Interesting. Your, what's your Well, it's SUV. mine. I'm going to have to eat my words now because I've just argued with you. Well, not argued, debated with you whether that is an SUV or not. Yeah. Now, this first one, before I even show you, I have to talk about oh, SUV, sports it, utility then. vehicle. So right. what does that mean? You can argue that my M3 Touring is a sports utility vehicle because it's... It's, it's an estate car. It is an estate car, but it's kind of does everything that a sports utility vehicle should do. But don't worry, I'm not going to use right, an estate because yeah, yeah. I thought if I went down the estate, we, that would be wrong completely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I am going somewhere that's, uh, that's, I would say it's a little bit, mm, it's a grey area, but I think it's a good shout. Go on then, go on then, go on, um, go on uh, I need to go into Lou's, uh, I send all my all my suggestions into Lou's uh, page, um, into Lou's, uh, what's up? right. Oh, an Audi A6 All Road. Now I the state car. Well, <laughs> is it though? Got that wrong. Oh, oh no, even Patrick are you disagrees. On my side? Yeah, no, it's, it's not. Up a state car. It's it's no, but then what? So what's an X? It's not an old Porsche. Yeah, it's not an SUV or a Porsche. It's just <laughs> <laughs> the BMW X3 is essentially. A so when, you, when you were sat on the loo this morning, that's the best you no, could come up with. It, no, I, I came up with a number. But this is a this is a bit of a an Audi all road. This is a wild car, basically in an there. estate car with raisable suspension and plastic bumpers. It's very cool. I think firstly, I think the, the A6 all road deserves a little segment in our podcast for a number of reasons. Number okay. one, because it's Lou's favourite car in the world. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, that's amazing! What a great choice that is. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Number two, because. Audi stopped making it a couple of years ago because they want to focus on SUVs, um, white yeah. white goods. Yeah. They want to sell SUVs. Um, and it's not an SUV. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> num uh, you know people like the Royals use them in the UK. Uh, they're just not that that's a reason to buy them or, yeah. or whatever. But I think whenever I see an all road, especially an A6, I think wow, they are. It's an understated, Someone very cool that, car. Though. No. <laughs> Best ride quality in the world if you get one with the air, electrical air suspension, which I think a lot of the late ones. I think visually it's a fantastic looking bit of kit, uh, depending on the spec. Yeah. But anyway, this one, 2017, it's uh, I think it's a one owner car, two owner car, air suspension, 55,000 miles, um, and just a fantastic. Uh, all right, we, yeah. we go on about cars costing a lot of money and you know not being it's a lot that of car affordable. For the money, isn't it? it is a lot of car for you'd money. To, you'd have to negotiate them down 600 quid though. Yes. Well, there was a lot around 18, 19, but this one was a nicer spec, so I okay. went cheekily. I reckon you could get that for 20 grand. Yeah. But you're, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed that Patrick's gone and said, even well, disagreed Well, yeah, it's the first time he's ever Yeah, he's piped up. Yeah. Patrick's like, no, black, he's Joe, never gets, on my side. Joe gets a black card there, um, or the red <laughs> card that he sent off. But anyway, that's... We're going to argue about my next one then. That's my left field. That's my left field one. So yeah, no so more arguing. Back. I can't believe I had to go at you about that and then I bring up an estate <laughs> car that's, that's slightly risen. Uh, that's the best thing about this challenge ever. <laughs> I love it. Right, okay. So uh, now we're going sub 50,000. Yes. Right, so you would hope that it, 
the landscape opens up a lot. Because let, let's just, I'm going to preface this because people moan otherwise. £50,000 is a lot of money yep. to buy a car. Right? Yep, especially a, used, especially a used car. That was a Cayman GZF. Oh, very nice. Very like, like yours, mate. Yep. I think that had um, six, a roof. six yeah. cylinders. Yeah, and a roof. And a roof, yeah. 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 Uh, so, uh, my next one, I, I, you're probably going to bitch that this is a 4 by 4 No, no, not at all. Um, uh, have we mentioned these already? Maybe not. So, I'm going... I'm going a bit of America. Oh, okay. America. Yep. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> they are awesome. Before we even talk about all that is, like when we started this car challenge stuff, Peds was so bad. It was unbelievable. And I know a lot of people agreed in the comments. They were just terrible. Right. Then you then you recovered. And I think the last one we did, some of your... Yeah, they were better you, than yours, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. they were on par, I'd yeah. say, yeah. Yeah. And you, did, you just dropped off a cliff again with this one. Mate, I mean... <laughs> Jeep... I can't believe that's worth 50 a Jeep grand. Wrangler <laughs> Rubicon. <laughs> 50 grand. They're race. They are a fun bit of kit, but 50,000 pounds. I know, but they're really used. cool. It's a, it's a nice colour, though, don't you think? It is a nice colour. Right. Yep. So, but the cool thing is, right, are these ones, you can take the doors off, you can jet wash them out on the inside... Listen, if so I this is a, this is a seventeen and a half thousand mile, twenty two plate, so two yeah. years old, fifty thousand quid. Is it on? Uh, please tell me at least it's on BF Goodrich size or uh, something. Do you know what? I, know. I haven't actually checked. They, um, listen, I have got a newfound respect for these because when I went out in the East Jeep Safari with BF Goodrich last year, yeah. uh, I was just blown away by how good they were off road and stuff. But as a road car, they are atrocious, and I seem to. Uh, I'm not sure if this is factual, but I think their crash test record is. Oh, well, they're, they're, yeah, you don't look at the Euro and Cap. No, so. no, you just ignore no. that. So I've I've spent a lot of time in Rubicons, and they yeah. are off road. They are unbelievable. Okay, and I don't think they're bad. They're like they're a bit better than the old Defender. Okay, on road. Yeah, but they're just fun. I, I yeah, I, I, yeah. Was, I wanted something a bit different. I didn't yeah. want to. I could have chose something that you know. You no, would, I think, you know, mate, it's way because my choice at this is vanilla. Uh, oh, in the same yeah, BMW X5, then. Yeah. <laughs> it's very obvious. <laughs> um, but I was no. trying to go a bit left field, and yeah. I thought that spec wise, nice color and everything. Yeah. So, what is it? It's a two liter what? Uh, t two liter petrol. So, what does that produce? It's got a uh, engine. It's a couple. It's got uh, spec, features, features and spec. spec. Performance. Let's look at the performance. Come on. 99 miles an hour top speed, 268 bhp. Wow, does it have an six? It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't show the naught to sixty. <laughs> they tried to measure it, but the four mile lock runway wasn't long enough. <laughs> you needed a calendar. <laughs> it's not about naught to sixty. I know. Yeah, but it is about being. I mean, if it only if it doesn't even do a hundred mile now, you could imagine how slow and imagine that with your three kids in and your uh, dogs and your luggage and you're accelerating onto a motorway. Um, it's just dangerous, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you probably get there quicker on your bicycle. Yeah, maybe. But so um, there we go. All right. So you like my second choice then? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's very you though, Ped. Uh, Thanks, mate. Yeah. You're such a pal. Like, Come on then. I like, Get out your X5M. Yes. No, 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 no. Not 50 grand. At 50 grand, I talked about this car very recently on my channel as being probably the best car in the world as an overall package. Um, but that was the very latest LCI version of it that's just come out. Obviously, you couldn't get that because I think the car I had there was 90 something grand. <laughs> so right. we're looking at. A oh, it is an X5. No, 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 no. Oh, no, I've gone to the wrong one. I've just ruined it. There we go. Uh, well, just an X5. So right. it's, an, it's an X5. 30D. Oh, the X5 then will be your under 100 grand one then. Oh, God. <laughs> it's an X5 30D. So, oh, right. so, so that's going to go pre... to the moon and back on a tank. Yeah, pre LCI. So it's a. It's a yeah, slightly older version. But this is a 22 plate. It's a main dealer, 2,000 miles. So it's just been running. One owner uh, has everything, including air suspension. Really nice spec. There was a number of different colours: grey, black, and white. Um, but pan roof. This has got all the tech packs, black leather. I mean, 50 grand for that. What, how old was it again? 22. It's on a 23 plate, I think. So it's like wow, what, 18 months old. But it's at a main dealer, so you get minimum of a year warranty um okay but yeah i think for value for money 
in my opinion, there's not a better package out there yeah. uh, available. And for 50 grand, I mean, it's a, it's a lot of car. Um, and I think that's where my money would go as a, yeah, as a family car and something yeah. that is relatively sporty to drive and fast enough. I think it'll do about six seconds and 60, which is quick enough. It'll do about 45 miles to the gallon, which is amazing. Um, but yeah, I but guess can you jet wash it out inside? You can't jet. No, you probably could, but things would stop working and <laughs> warning lights would come on. Um, so very different, very different cars, right? Oh yeah. Um, yeah. very different. Yeah. If you like jet washing your car inside, then definitely go for that one. Um, but otherwise the BMs better everywhere. Can you take the doors off that one? Cause the doors come off this. You can if, take the doors oh, sorry, off the roof. If you off, like jet washing your interior of your car and you like removing doors of your car, yeah. go for that one. Yeah. For anything else car related, go for this one. Yeah, basically, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So <laughs> I start with a hundred grand yeah, one yeah, if you've already grand. ruined yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, so a hundred grand. Yeah. Oh, let, let me guess on it. It's gonna Joe's gonna choose another BMW and uh, X5. Maybe? Listen, I think the X5 is such an amazing vehicle. Really, um, I, I, I do the early ones, the, the latest ones. They are very hard to beat. Again, I've just just given back an X5M competition, the very latest one. It's just mind blowingly good at everything. The ride's a bit firm. How much is it? So, uh, well, the one I had was 150 grand. Oh, so that'll be a, a, a unlimited one. Will that be? No, no. <laughs> No, <laughs> yeah. and so, for over so, hundred grand, yeah. Joe's picked. So twenty twenty five M. Yeah, that would. Uh, I'm not that bad. Um, but this one, this is an is an X demo. Uh, it's done uh, two thousand miles. miles, so it's had the running nice service, color. which would have cost you five six hundred quid. Beautiful spec. It's got everything. Ultimate pack, whatever. Hundred and thirty five grand. This was list. Uh, it is less than a year old. What does it um, mean? It's seventeen hundred quid. No, that's a, that's crazy. Oh, it's a yeah. shocker, isn't it? How yeah. much do you have to put down for that? Uh, cash deposit of ten grand. Oh, um, affordable. But ninety-five grand. So you're getting forty grand off. Uh, it's literally, like I said, it's an X demo. It's been running with all the toys you can imagine. Really nice, classy spec, um, and all the. Perf I mean, the performance of these things are just ridiculous. I timed the one. I timed this one actually about a year and a half ago, naught to sixty in three point two or three point three seconds. Outrageous! In an SUV, uh, Pat and I actually had a fantastic road trip. and one over to Nurburgring. It was wasn't it? With my parents in the car about two years ago. Exactly the same spec. Absolutely loved it. I mean that car. You've got the M5 F90 M5 front seats, which are the best seats in the world, as far as I'm concerned. I think. As a car for less than a hundred, as an SUV, it's it's pretty. So here's a question then: that or your X, or your M3 Tourer? Uh, it's a really difficult one. So, isn't so it? here's a question: so if you weren't a YouTuber, so if you yeah, didn't have a that, channel yeah. car, if you'd I have wasn't one a, wouldn't you? No, if I wasn't a YouTuber, I'd probably have an F90 M5 competition, which is which is weird. And you know what? Ironically, I think an F90 M5 would actually do better on the channel than the M3 because everyone's got M3s these days. Um, but yeah, it's a difficult wow. one. But I think just because I like the idea of a car more than an SUV still, yeah. it would push me towards that. But uh, also something we're not talking about is running costs. Oh, yeah, um, true. And even things like tires on big SUVs, you know, that that, that X5M has Michelin, had Michelin pilots bought four SUV tires on them, which are obviously developed for much bigger, heavier loads, yeah. uh, but obviously then cost you more money um, to, to replace. So yeah. things like, yeah, tire, all these wearing parts, I just think, and fuel costs, I was averaging 16 miles to the gallon in that, whereas I'm getting nearly twice that in the M3 Touring. So I think what you've always got to remember, people always say to me, oh, I can get, Joe, is it worth like non-car people? Oh, I'm looking at this Range Rover, use Range Rover 15 grand. That's great. But have you got the money to pay for the consumables with that car? Because yeah. once upon a time, that was a hundred thousand pounds. So you've yep. got to, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you've yeah. got to, um, anyway, let's get on to your uh, <laughs> X5M. Uh, so, uh, you know, you were talking what's about, it gonna be? you know, you were talking about um, cars that maybe, maybe people used to kind of describe how large their manhood was. Yes. Um, and how, look at me, how well I've done. Yep. I have a, I have a secret thing for, uh, an SUV and I've, I've only driven one once and it was one of the early ones okay. and it just blew me away so I've gone for 
Oh, that's an Archie Hamilton. An Archie Hamilton. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, so Range Rover Sport. Yeah. SVR. SVR. Now, uh, have you done one of them? I haven't. And then, uh, having owned an S- a Range Rover Sport, but we, as was like a you know diesel autobiography, these things, they just sound amazing. This is a yeah. 2020 one as well, so it probably still sounds good. Before they put the X5M engine in it, which the new <laughs> one has got, yeah. which then sounds pretty average yeah. compared to that. Um, but for for 79 grand, yeah. 13,000 13, mile car, I, I, I just think I just think they look ace. Uh, yeah, I think they sound, they're the best sounding things. Sound on the mega, planet. look ace. They have got a bit of a reputation, unfortunately, well, I think they have. Bit, um, yeah, a bit football-y. I mean, there's there were there were a few urban-y ones and and kind of you know, buoyed up ones and stuff, but that's relatively factory, dark blue, beautiful color. I just yep. think that's a nice car. Yeah, no, I agree. I'm not I'm not a JLR fan, but I do I I can appreciate an SVR when they go past or even parked yeah. up, but they sound fantastic. Um, and the spec on that's quite nice. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, do you approve on that one? Yeah, I mean, I I wouldn't go for it personally because it's not my sort of car, but um, but I do, I can appreciate where that's coming from. That, now, the, the one that I have got on here, you just saw a pre- pre- while I was, you know, flicking through. I'm oh, like, wait, was that your dream? I wonder. Oh, I no. Wonder, no, no, no. So sub 100 grand. Uh, it's not, oh. but, but it's, it is, is. Wait, is that the one you had? Yeah. Oh wow! Okay, <laughs> yeah. So my defender, long termer, sixty. Actually, that's not too bad. That was eighty-seven grand. Yeah, yeah. that's really. Uh, I know. At sixty-five <laughs> grand, that, make, that starts to make so a lot anyway, of sense. So anyway, while I was looking, I found my yeah. long term, my Hendy long termer, my seventy-fifth uh, anniversary defender, uh, is up for sale <laughs> for sixty-six and a half grand at Hendy in Southampton. Yeah, Hendy Land Rover. Yeah, you know what? I, I have to say. A as much as six grand that's yeah. that's a lot of car it's a lot of car uh it's a lot of yeah a lot of a lot of car a lot of port for, for a lot of bed <laughs> <lot of bed>. um <laughs> but that's really i bet have you been looking have you, i yeah. bet you showed tracy that and you're like hey, no i haven't because oh. i only found it i only found it late last night I'm okay like, oh no yeah um but yeah that that the only challenge with that is it having ran one for six months and that's yeah. the best bit about having long term is is a 90 is still just too much of a compromise to live with on a daily basis. Yeah, Getting and, in and out of the back seat is a faff. You've done it. Yeah, right? me and Pat. Yeah. yeah. And the, the, the boot space isn't massive. It's fine for most things, but yeah. it, it's just a bit of a compromise vehicle. A, a 110 would be a better car, but I still love the thing, the way that thing looks. Oh, yeah. Looks the 90 looks ace. Yeah. And, and I think what you're saying is you, the compromise of boot space and, and getting in and out of the cabin in the back but yet on the outside it's still massive it's not yeah, yeah. like it's not like oh it's and a... it's massive on the inside it's just difficult yeah, to get into get it in. <laughs> yeah 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 but yeah, yeah I was, so i was like oh no i wish i hadn't seen that <laughs> wow that's yeah oh, i'm yeah, surprised yeah. i thought i, I would have thought that would have been up for 80 or something but yeah I, I, I it's yeah exactly yeah so now we've got unlimited money dun, 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 dun. x5m <laughs> competition <laughs> brand new <laughs> so um i know i'm gonna get so much shit for this uh... Okay, All well right. then we got to start with you for sure. So unlimited funds. Yep. <clears throat> I, I haven't driven this model, but I have driven one of these. Are much. you making ex- every time there's an excuse? You start with a number of excuses. No, it's not an excuse. Okay. Uh, so I'm thinking, okay, over hundred grand. Yep. There's lots of options. I, I, you know, the sensible bet would be just to buy a new Range Rover because they're amazing. Yeah. Or if you were going to spend unlimited money, get the Range Rover. SV autobiography, but they're like two hundred thousand pounds to insure. And, uh, yeah, to, yeah. If you could insure it, um, so so that I decided not to go Range Rover. I thought you know you could do Eurus. We've already talked about those. Um, so I've gone. Um, <clears throat> wow, that's the same color as my new mountain bike. <laughs> um, okay, it looks pretty bling so in this, that color. This is an Aston Martin DBX, but it's the seven oh seven. Yes. Okay. So the, that's the, the yeah. that and that's seven hundred seven PS. So that's yeah. seven hundred seven. That's a lot, right? And that's a hundred and eighty eight thousand nine hundred and fifty pounds. And it's not new either. <laughs> it's five hundred mile on the clock, but it's a it's a twenty twenty four car. Wow. But what that a color. color! What is the color? Does it say? I, d- I don't know. I just saw it. It's from Aston Martin Chichester as well. Yeah. Um. Let's just see. Well, if you're listening to this, uh, you need to head over to the YouTube channel. 
and see oh, the colour of this. Storm Purple Signature Metallic. I, mean, I like that. the colour. I can't deny that it looks... I think they look great, the DBX. I know we talked about them a bit. Yeah. I think from the front, they look great. I'm not a fan of the way they look at the back. But, um, I mean, what a car. That, they, that is a statement piece. They drive unreal. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're just... They, they handle as good as Advantage. They're okay. just ridiculous things. As I said, I've only driven the base DBX. I've not driven the 707. Yeah. But I just thought that, I mean... That is pretty special. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. 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 That's... I mean, that, that's, it's the colour. Yeah. <laughs> that is very... It's pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, that what, is... What? Yeah. No, it is pretty cool. Yeah. I'll take that. I'll it's, take... It's not my taste, but I do like the colour. Uh, and I'm it's sure got nice be... bits of it, lots of lots of bits of carbon. And... Yeah, it, yeah. I'd say it's it's probably better looking than my choice. Okay, um, come on in. Hit me my, with it, mine's, big boy. mine's substantially so, cheaper than that as well. Is it? Oh, yeah. so I'm trying to work out what the features and spec. What's the zero to sixty time performance? Is it three point six? Three point one. Three point one. <laughs> Nearly two hundred mile an hour top speed. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Uh, in a car, I, I bet it doesn't have the weight. I wonder if it have got the weight. No, but it has. It? it must be two point two sizes tons? and dimensions. Here we go. Length, weight, curb weight, two point two four. Four five. Okay. Yep. Not, not hideous. No, 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 no. A Lotus Electra is like. I suppose because there's no six. hybrid, no. hybrid stuff in there. No. It's not. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Impressive. Go on then. <laughs> um. Yeah. Well, I mean, my one. Uh, X five M. <laughs> Mine, mine's come down to an X7. No, 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 no. It's not a BMW. <gasps> I don't oh. know. You, listen, a lot of if you guys actually, actually go back to some of the car challenges we've done, a lot of mine haven't been BMWs. Um, okay, but 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 yeah, this one's maybe been a bit BMW strong. But no, it's not a BM. It's an SUV that I. It's the best dynamically SUV, best driving Porsche. dynamically. Yeah, it's a. Porsche Cayenne Turbo GT. Um, they only ran them for 21, 22. They can't call the new one the Turbo. Is it the no. Turbo with a Turbo GT running pack or something? Or yeah, something? so the new one in Europe, but due to our legislations, yeah. uh, we can't we can't run... Yeah, we don't get the actual hardcore Turbo GT. We get the Turbo E hybrid with a GT package. Right, I've never managed to remember exactly how to describe that. No, I mean, I might have still got that wrong, but something like, <laughs> something like that. But this one, um, I mean, you know it's... I mean, you drove that Porsche press car they had, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I just could not believe... I'd put that car on par with the M5 CS, which I think is one of the best... If you're carrying more than two passengers, one of the best things on the planet, one of the best cars in the world. And I think the only thing that holds me back from the K and Turbo GT is I don't... I much prefer a traditional SUV shape. I wish they did it in like the normal yeah, K shape. And not, yeah, the yeah. coupe, I think just looks a bit... Uh, Although the two um, exhausts look cool. Exactly, yeah. So the Turbo GT's obviously got like its standout features. And this particular one was actually... So there's 16, as we speak, on your so trader. At the time, I think they were about 140, 150 grand. That's what they sort of are still two years old. Um, so they haven't lost value, which to me says that they are a bloody good product. Excuse my language. Um, but this one's actually the cheapest one out of the 1415. But a bit like your Aston, it's a pretty like, okay, Marmite, you either love it or hate it color. Um, Martini livery, here we go. No, no, not quite that crazy. No, no we're looking at an X5 again. There we go. Uh, I think it's this one, I hope. Come on, Joe. Um, there we go. Ooh. So, so oh, it, was, like the wheels. it was the only one in, um, so it's in Nagaro Blue, Ooh. which is, I know Nagaro Blue from the RS2 when that was launched. Yeah. Um, and Nagaro Blue, and you think the RS2, when I was showing Lou this morning, Lou was like, oh, that's interesting because the RS2 was a Porsche Audi developed car. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's where I, but this is a paint sample, um, Porsche that's Nagaro smart, Blue. 130 grand. Wow. Um, so, and it, like I said, it was the cheapest one. It's got delivery, or maybe it hasn't. Maybe it's got like 8,000 miles on it. But I mean, yeah, uh, that's that's what, 132 grand. Well, just under 5,000 miles. Um, but I, oh, God, yeah. oh, I absolutely love that thing. And, I, I, and yeah, I mean, my it's solely based on the fact that that car drives so unbelievably well 
um that yeah i'd have to have that but there's loads there's black there's white there's whatever color you want but just went with a slightly different color but um yeah there you go it's good so apart from me jeep wrangler <laughs> uh, and and the, and yeah, and yeah, the and debatable yes. four by four shogun <laughs> we did all right there oh, listen as always let us know in the comments which way you'd go because i think yeah i think your higher end cars definitely were, were great in my opinion great choices but yeah. that's why that's why i love you that's why i think that's why we work so well because we both got very different tastes in a lot of things i think about uh, things just to wind you up right, right. <laughs> what's gonna really get go pull his chain i oh, know this one he doesn't he doesn't he just no, says no, that yeah no, i just choose what i like and you just take the piss out of me 